Shalom y'all. My name is Jane Goldie Wynn and I have been recording YouTube videos for a while so I'm sure you're familiar with me. Um, but just in case, I uh, just want to let you know that I am a certified life coach and rather recently I felt to relaunch my life coaching practice after taking a respite for several years because now more than ever it is needed during this pandemic. So many people are experiencing stress coming at them from all sides. Perhaps it's loss in your families and friends and people around you being sick and the uncertainty about the future and financial issues. There's just so many things that so many are experiencing right now and it's really a hard time. And so all the more reason to take good care of yourself. So today I'm gonna to give you a little life coaching tip um, all about self-care. Self-care is really important. And the wonderful thing about life coaching is we focus on the here and now. We're not talking about the future. We're talking about what's going on in your life right now. What is keeping you stuck? What's keeping that train in the station? We want to get it out and moving along. And so it's very short term and it gives you the opportunity to really um, make a, an action plan so that you can move forward in your life and realize the goal that you're wanting to attain. And I, when you think about self-care, one of the metaphors that I like to also look at is when you're in an airplane and you hear the flight attendant say, if we reach an emergency, we may need to lower the oxygen. So if so, put the mask on yourself first and then place the mask on your child. And the metaphor there being that if we don't take care of ourselves, how can we take care of anyone else? So that's really important, and especially for those of you who are caregivers, it's so hard to be a caregiver because you're on call 24 seven and you really need to get filled up. Even our Lord, Yeshua, Jesus, came away to a restful place and he had to get recharged. And so all the more do we need to do the same. So I like to talk about something that's been very helpful to my clients called life-giving activities. This is your life coach tip for today. And that is making a list of all of the things that bring you life because there's so much in life that takes from you. So we have our life giving activities and we have our life taking activities. So with the life giving activities, what might they be? For each of you, it's going to be different. For me, well, it's going to my happy place, the beach, taking a walk in nature, reading the Bible, praying with friends or my husband, singing, playing my saxophone, whatever it might be, just take a moment and make a list of all those things you can think of that are life-giving. And that list will grow and grow as you discover new things about yourself. And then on the other side of the paper, write down the life-taking activities and make sure that every life-taking activity has a life-giving activity to offset it. That's really important because we really need to have that balance. And so I really invite you to take a moment and do that. And I just want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I just wanted to give you a little taste of life coaching and hopefully encourage you to take good care of yourself, especially now more than ever. It really is important. So please, if you would take a moment and you would subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be great. If you could hit that notification bell and like the video, and even share it with others, that would be awesome because we wanna get the word out and we wanna make sure that everybody is taking good care of themselves during these difficult times. So I wanna remind you of my website where you can learn more about my life coaching practice and that is janegoldywin.com. And I hope you enjoy the scenery today. This is behind our condo and it's just there's just so many lakes behind us and it's just a gorgeous day. And I thought it would be fun to be outside today. So I hope that you're all taking good care of yourselves. Please do that. Please stay safe. God bless you all. And thank you again for tuning in. Shalom, y'all.